Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my tour video of my Korean studio slash apartment slash one room. I'm living in Bundong city, which is located in Gyeonggi province. If you guys don't know about Bundong, it's a really expensive city. It's actually more expensive than a lot of areas in Seoul. So I'm paying about $500 a month for this place, which includes all utilities such as water and electricity. Uh, this place is quite small. It's about 140 square feet which is really expensive considering I'm paying $500 a month. Uh, but prior to living here, I was living in the dormitory and Korean dormitories are really small. My dormitory room was literally the same size as this room except I had to share it with three other people. And for me, like having my own freedom was really important, especially because Korean dormitories have a curfew and my dormitory's curfew was 12 a.m. So if you didn't enter the dormitory before 12, you would have to wait until like 6 a.m. to go back inside. Uh, basically, this room is, even though it's small, it's really cozy and it's perfect for a university student. So anyways, enough of that. Let's get going. Let me go ahead and start this tour video starting from my door. As you can see, this place is quite small, but it's okay. Uh, let me go ahead and give you guys a view of the whole room by standing on my bed. From this angle, you can you can really see the size of the room. So when I first came to, to this room, actually, it was unfurnished. The only thing that came with this place was the shoe closet over there and the refrigerator. So. When it was unfurnished, it looked really small, smaller than it looks furnished. I was quite worried and I had to be very careful with my space management. This shoe closet is actually quite big and I have a lot of shoes so it fits all my shoes. And on top I just have my basketball and I don't have a microwave but I do have this electric oven. And this refrigerator is a pretty decent size and I have some decorations on top. My sister made this for me when I was in high school. And if you guys play Hearthstone, you guys know what that is. Uh, this drawer, I bought it for about $80 on the internet. The cool thing about this drawer is you can change the color of the hearts. And inside, I just keep a lot of my stuff basically because I have nowhere else to store my stuff except for this drawer. Here are my Korean books. And I have some more decorations that I bought in America before I came to Korea. I bought most of these from Disneyland. As you can see, it says Disneyland on there. And you see this space in the middle. I had to make sure I bought the furniture, which allowed me to have extra space because I knew I need space for my luggage and I knew I need space for some chairs and a drying rack. So before I bought all my stuff, I made sure to measure them with a measuring tape. And this desk, I bought it for about $70 online, and I bought this flat screen TV for about $200 online. And here is the air conditioner. And this is where the magic happens. This bed is the most important thing in this room, I think. It's really comfortable. I actually got it for a really good deal. I bought it for $100 off a couple who's mo who was moving out of Korea. So they gave it to me at a really good price. And this closet is also a very important thing in my room. I was quite worried because there wasn't enough room for a closet. So I just thought a cheap one would do. And when I bought this, it was $30 online and it's much better than I expected. It's really sturdy and it has a lot of space. Going on to the kitchen, there's just one electric stove. First, I was kind of disappointed because I wanted a real stove, but actually, after using this for a while, it's quite nice. And as you can see in this video, it heats up really fast right when you turn it on. I have a lot of utensils over here. And of course, the laundry is right below. There's only a washer, so I would have to dry my clothes by hanging it on the drying rack. And below the sink, I just have my cooking utensils and my laundry soap. And going on top. 
top over here, I have my plates and cups and some more food. And it's not a Korean home of hot ramen, of course. Now going on into the bathroom, uh, this bathroom is quite small. And as you can see, the shower head is right there. So when you take a shower, you're literally standing like right in front of the sink. And that's there to make sure your toilet paper doesn't get wet when you take a shower. So I just keep my shampoo and soap right there and then keep my other stuff in here. So yeah, that's basically the whole room. It's really small, so there's not much to show you guys, but it's really cozy and comfortable and convenient. I love this room. And as you can see, if you look at the walls, it's actually quite modern and quite new. And when I was looking at other buildings, they were quite old, the walls were quite outdated and the floors were outdated. So I think that's why this place is quite small and expensive is because the building is quite new. Even when you look outside the building, the building looks more modern than the other buildings around my neighborhood. Again, if you see the bathroom floor, you can see it's pretty modern. So yeah, that's my room guys. Thank you for watching and make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you want me to make some more videos. Maybe I can make some more videos about Korea and how I came here on a scholarship. And I'll be seeing you guys soon.